Hey guys, in this video we'll be looking at the supplement citrulline malate and whether or not it has any benefit on muscle gain and or sports performance. I'm Ed Whittaker, performance nutritionist and fat loss muscle building expert. This is the channel that brings you all the need to know info on how to fuel your body and train to be your strongest self. Here's an outline of what citrulline is, what it does, and later we'll dive a little deeper into the science. Citrulline is an amino acid that is turned into arginine, another amino acid in the kidneys. Arginine boosts nitric oxide synthesis in the body, which has shown many benefits for athletic performance, vascular health, and erectile dysfunction. Nitric oxide is a key component of most supplements, especially pre-workouts that give you a pump but it can't be supplemented directly. So it has to come from either citrulline or arginine. Now let's get deeper into the science. Citrulline malate is the most widely researched form of the supplement and it's shown the best results over supplementing with just arginine as citrulline malate actually increases the levels of arginine. It's also absorbed easier, which means less upset stomachs. Citrulline is bound to malate, also known as malic acid. Malic acid is used in the body's production of energy or ATP. When malic acid is bound to with another supplement, i.e. citrulline, it can provide more ATP, basically making it that bit more potent. Why do we want enhanced nitric oxide production? First, it decreases the amount of oxygen needed for submaximal exercise, which means not an all out effort, i.e. weightlifting for reps rather than a one rep max. Next, it can enhance exercise tolerance and performance, allowing you to work harder for longer. One study showed an increased performance by 2.8%, which sounds small, but actually it makes a pretty big impact. So if you've hit a training plateau, this could give you that edge to move past it. Finally, nitric oxide increases vasodilation, giving you not only a great pump, but also increased delivery of oxygen and nutrients to the muscles. So why would we want to supplement with citrulline? Well, first off, few foods actually contain citrulline, watermelon being one of the only ones. If you want to take advantage of the potential effects, you'll need to supplement with the stuff or eat a load of watermelons. How much should you take of this super sup and how long for? Well, most studies look at the short-term effect over a few days or weeks. For the best results, you'll need around six to 8,000 milligrams a day, an hour before training in one dose. And then on your known training days, split it in several doses across the day. To sum up, citrulline malate boosts the production of arginine. Arginine facilitates the production of nitric oxide, which helps fight off fatigue during exercise. Most researchers agree that citrulline looks promising. A little more research is needed with more people and in more real world situations. Good news is, if you have your nutrition and your training on point, citrulline may well give you that edge. Did that answer all your questions? As always, if you have any more, let me know in the comments. And remember to like and subscribe to the MyProtein YouTube channel for more great evidence-based nutrition info.